Hey everyone, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. Got a quick video here for you. This is an issue that you may be getting in Windows 10 where you blue screen to a video TDR failure. And right here I got an example of it. So what you see here on this laptop is just some random pics and if I scroll down, you'll see here that we come to a video. And there's a couple of videos here. But if we try to play the video, let's see what we get. Seems like it's going to load okay. Starts to load. starts to play or is thinking about it and then we get a blue screen and the blue screen is video TDR failure it's a ATIK MPAG dot sys error so I'm going to show you how we can troubleshoot and repair that most likely the issue is due to a video driver issue. So let me get remoted in here and we'll uh, we'll take a few steps here to try to resolve this issue. Okay we're back to the desktop here. Uh, just a quick note that this is an older laptop computer. This computer had Windows 7 on it and has been upgraded to Windows 10. And uh, you know usually when we get that kind of error the first thing I want to target is the graphics driver. So what I usually do here is we just check on the driver version and we can go to our device manager which I already have pulled up and we see here that it is the ATI Mobility Radeon HD 4200 which is a relatively older graphics driver. So if we right click on that and hit properties and we'll hit the driver tab right here uh, we'll see the driver version. This is important. I'm going to show you here in a minute why. Uh, you know, you could take the, uh, the uh, couple of ways of, of trying to update the driver to have it search um, automatically for the driver uh, or uninstall the driver or whatever. We'll come back to this, but I want to show you because what I like you to usually do instead of letting Windows try to find all that, I like to go to the manufacturer's website and try to find a video driver that is newer than the one that is installed on this computer. A lot of times that's just the best way to go. So in doing that I'll show you what I found. First of all I came here to the ASUS website which this is an ASUS K52N and I went to their drivers section and I realized that uh, look at there there's no Windows 10 uh, drivers even available for this here so everything according you know to, I guess the way ASUS looks at it get the drivers through Windows updates because we're not posting it on this site which is what a lot of manufacturers are doing but uh, I went further and tried to find the driver itself for that particular ATI Mobility Radeon HD 4200 at uh, AMD themselves and I ended up at this site and unfortunately what I ended up seeing here was uh, the fact that, uh, that that this version must be installed and that this driver is a courtesy and only available at Windows Update and basically it lists right here the HD 4000 series there is the has reached peak performance optimization on October in October 2013 and no additional driver releases are planned for these products so right there that tells me there is no updated graphics driver for this particular computer so I'm kind of stuck with just dealing with what I have so the only things that I know to try 
would be to maybe to uninstall and reinstall the driver possibly so let's just try that let's just go back to our properties here on the device manager and uh, instead of updating the driver let's completely uninstall the driver and then we'll have to reboot the computer delete the driver software from this device no we don't want to delete the software we'll just delete the we'll just uninstall the graphics driver and of course everything will go blank and then you'll get a crazy resolution or a lower resolution and then at this point what we want to do is reboot the computer and let's um and let's see if we can get that driver reinstalled it's going to install its basic driver and i think that's what it's going to use so let's try that and see what happens we'll just restart and while we're restarting uh, we'll come back after it boots up okay we've booted back up here let's just put in that password to get into their account and as you can see it looks like that they have uh, the the driver has automatically reinstalled itself so what I'm going to do now let's just go in and check to see which driver version it installed be under device manager give it a second here it's still booting up here's the display adapters here and of course it is the generic driver and there's the 89709001 which is the one that uh, the one listed right here so we know that the the only driver that we can have on this computer is on here so all we can do really at this point is to test it just to see if uninstalling and reinstalling the driver did anything so let's try that now we'll go back to where that videos were let's see that was in here I think that was here yes it was in here let's get going here on that a little bit let's let's do extra large icons and let's find a video to play now keep in mind everyone I am remoted into this computer so instead of getting the blue screen it'll just show connection lost in my remote software by the way, I have tested these videos on another computer of mine. They do work, so it's not the video. But let's just see if we can get it to work. We'll double click on this one. And let's see what happens. Looks like it's going to load. Well, we had sound for a minute. now we're kind of stuck and it looks like it's crashed so well lost connection I just went in there and checked it looks like that the computer did blue screen honestly there's just nothing we can do with this any longer the computer is just too old running uh, this is a GoPro video so the computer did crash we're back up here to the sign in uh, screen here but I in this particular case sometimes uh, it's just uh, you have to just admit that the computer is just too old those were some um, those were some GoPro videos actually that were being tried to be played there so for some reason it didn't like those and you know perhaps that might have been in 4k you know that's something I didn't check let's check that let's check to see if those are recorded in 4k because that most certainly could be the problem here.
could very well may be the problem. We'll open this back up. Oops, pictures, full screen. properties. See what we got here. MP4 details. <laughs> Look at that. Right here. He's trying to play these videos in 4K and that's the problem. Wow. No wonder they won't play on this computer. Anyways, lesson learned guys. There's no way you don't get 4K video to play on, on this computer. So, anyways, I'm not sure what that taught us. It taught us a few things, I guess. Okay, just to uh, confirm, I just wanted to let everybody know that uh, I've tried to actually load up a 4K video in YouTube and uh, this on this computer and this computer uh, blue screened again. So it cannot handle... 4k videos and that very well may be the issue with many older computers if you're having that video TDR failure blue screen the ATIKMPAG.sys sometimes it has to do that you're using an older graphics chip trying to run a 4k video keep that in mind everyone don't know Tim Tim's computer .net. head down hit that like button subscribe to my channel Tick that bell to get notifications. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny, these videos, aren't they? Till next time, everyone. See you soon.